Hello friends. First, you need to select the new file or new part. Then you can choose your working file type. If you use this edit menu, you can select your prototype or your file format according to your purpose. But in this time, I am not going to choose a part from this menu. And now I am going move into the main menu. In this time, I use the ANSI inch part. And in this video, I will show the how to change the units by using default option. And this time, I choose this part and I select OK. Then it will open the our working space. This working process will be take the time according to your processing power. You can check your system requirements by using solid age official website and your system requirements will be different according to your version in this video i use solid age inbuilt screen recorder for record this video in this process first you have to change this synchronous mode into the ordered mode by right clicking on it and now you need to turn on your planes by ticking on that plane option as a first stage you need to click on the sketch and next you need to click on the front plane according to this video then you can see this kind of view in this sketch i will draw my helical geo wheel wheel part by using sizes but in this time I am not going to use the inches and now I am going to change my inches unit into the millimeters by using options menu. Now you can clearly see that settings changing stages in this video. Now my settings are ok and now I am going to draw the my helical gear wheel wheel part by using circle tool. Don't think about the measurements and sizes because sizes will be different according to your sketches. After drawn this first circle, next I close the sketch and I will again go to the main menu. Now I use extrude option to increase my gear wheel's thickness and this option will give a 3D look to our gear wheel. Please remember you are extruding direction because it will help you to in our last step. Now our basic design is ok and again I select on the sketch and again I select on the front plane by using front plane menu. In this step I am going to draw the teeth space part for generate the gear teeth then after creating this gear space part we can cut off it and we can create our gear wheel design easily in this sketch i am draw three circles for create the gear teeth space and first circle size should be greater than our gear wheel it means second sketch first circle diameter should be greater than the first sketch diameter don't worry about the sizes you can change this sizes and measurements according to your sketch or you are drawing it will depend on your design and purpose. Now you can see how I change my diameters without redrawing or deleting circles.
Now my ordinary design is complete and next I am going to draw the lines for create the helical gear teeth angles between two teeth. I draw these lines using vertical axis. Now no need to worry about the angles because in the next step I will show how to change the angles between two lines by using angle between two. After completing the basic lines, now I am going to draw the third line. Important thing is this line is helps to mirror our angle to left side to right side. Please remember it before drawing this line. Now you can see how I change my angles using angle between tool. You can easily find this angle between tool from the toolbar by using dimension category. You can change the angles according to your drawing or sketch. As a final stage, now I am going to draw a circle using left hand side axis and inner circle cross point. The cross point should use as a center point of the circle. We can mirror this circle on right hand side by using mirror tool and in this mirroring operation we need to use center vertical axis as our mirroring axis then it will give us a same designs to both left hand side and right hand side as a final stage of this second sketch we can remove the unwanted parts of this sketch by using trim tool. Now everything is done and now I close the sketch number 2. Now I am draw a tangent plane on the top of our drawed part and this tangent plane helps to create our helical gear angle and please carefully draw this tangent part by using more plane tool this angle can be changed according to your drawing or sketch Now I am going to create the helical gear teeth angle by using tangent plane. 
first you need to select on the sketch and you need to again select on the tangent plane after selecting on the tangent plane you can see this kind of view and I created the two lines by using line tool and after created these lines I use angle between tool to generate the helical gear wheel teeth angle after completing this process we can remove the unwanted parts by using trim tool Now 75% of our project is done and I close that sketch. Now we can remove the drawn part from this main drawing of our gear wheel base by using sweep tool. After you select the sweep tool, you need to select our axis and our second sketch dot part. Now you can see the clear output of our main gear teeth space. And in this time I had to face some trouble because of my angles. Now I am going to correct that error without using a new sketch or plane simply we can click on the upper drawed axis and we can change that axis position without using any new sketch now you can clearly see that error fixing on this video if you followed correct sketch or drawing for this gear wheel designing process then you won't able to face this kind of problems don't worry about these issues now you can see how i fixed it Now we can curve or round our edges by using round tool and you can see how I curved my edges and this tool helps to create a smooth gear wheel teeth. Now I am going to create the same patterns throughout the whole gear wheel by using 
pattern tool in this tool you need to select our pattern and next you have to select the center point of our drawing then you can see a circle now you have to increase that circle's diameter using our first drawed circled diameter it means it should be same as the diameter size of first sketch or our main drawing after click on that clockwise arrow key we can see the our gear wheel points on this drawing and after closing this sketch we can see our auto generated gear wheel as a special option we can select the our gear teeth count on the same process as a last stage i am going to create the gear connecting point on this gear wheel and first i select the sketch and next i clicked on the front view now i select the circle tool and i draw a circle for the connecting rod and the special connecting angle i used a square shape for create the gear locking row and after draw these things i used trim tool to remove the unwanted parts now i close the sketch and i use cut tool to remove that dot part from the main gear wheel after remove that part i give the removing distance to this part and that's the reason why i mentioned before the reason you need to remember the extruding direction if we use the wrong direction this screen will show a error now you can see the our completed helical gear wheel if you had to face any problem while drawing please comment about your problem in below comment section if you like to watch this kind of video and about solid edge tutorials please subscribe like and share our youtube channel and thanks for watching us and please subscribe our youtube channel